So I was almost prepared with my new video on the One UI 4.0 on the S10 Plus and how they ruined the already amazing software with some slow and laggy experience, which was actually frustrating me until they finally dropped the One UI 4.1 update, thus bringing the smartphone back to normal and also saving me from buying a new smartphone at least for a few months. So here's me telling you some of my favorite newly added features on this three year old smartphone and also the reason why Samsung is truly the king of Android. Stay tuned. The first and the most noticeable upgrade that came with the One UI 4.0 itself is this notification panel. The brightness slider is now huge as compared to before and also in a different color. Besides that, you also get a color palette that shows you combinations that match with your current wallpaper. Cool, isn't it? You could even do the same with Samsung's GoodLock app, but they have not yet added this new panel to the settings. So we'll have to wait for an update, which I'm sure will be out soon. Also in One UI 4.0, I noticed that the colors showed here in the thumbnail would not look exactly the same after applying them, but they fixed that with the One UI 4.1. I was also facing a lot of lag while scrolling through the notifications and that was really annoying me. But that again was fixed in One UI 4.1 and I'm seriously glad Samsung did that. As you all know that this is probably the last and the final update to fix software related issues. Now editing has been made even more easier with the default photo editing app. You can now add a portrait mode to any photo even if it was not taken in portrait mode. But the catch is that it should be able to detect a face. All you need to do is select the three dots and the option should be here. If it is not, then it means that it has not detected a face. I tried it and 7 out of 10 times it could not detect a face but when it did the output was really good. Now you even get the object eraser tool which is actually present on many third party apps and on some it is even a paid feature. Just select the edit button then the three dots and select object eraser. Now obviously it won't work as good as it would on Photoshop for PC but it is really helpful for quick removal of easy stuff. Like for example, the photo here, I can remove the dustbin in the background. Although if you zoom, you'll see some smudges, but definitely not very noticeable. You even get some funky new styles that you can use for your display, pictures and much more. The next is smart widgets. Now we all know that Android 12 has given a lot of importance to widgets to your home screen. But what if you had too many to fit in? Well, this time you can club two to three widgets together based on your usage. All you need to do is hold on the home screen select widgets then smart widgets. Now from here you need to choose the preset and then you can choose the widget that fits in that like here I clubbed the calendar and the reminder widget in one. All I need to do is swipe on the widget to access them and according to me this is a great feature. Now the One UI 4.1 has also brought a lot of improvements to the Samsung health app and if you have a wearable device like the Galaxy Watch 4 and if you're a person who likes to keep track of your walking and running sessions then you'll benefit the most out of it. This also calculates your sweat loss during your running session if that is something you want to know. The body composition feature has also improved. For those who do not know, body composition is a feature that is calculated using the Galaxy Watch 4 where it gives you accurate information on your body mass, your skeletal muscle, your weight, the body water, etc. Later in a few months, I'll also be coming with my long term review of the Galaxy Watch 4 where I will be including all of this information in a little more detail. The next is Find My Device. Now in Find My Device, you will be able to scan your phone nearby even if it is in offline mode. But mind you that can be done by only another Galaxy device. Not a very helpful feature. But now you can even find your wearable devices even if it is offline. And this could be very helpful. The next is Wi-Fi sharing. Now you'll be able to share your Wi-Fi network with your friends or strangers in case of an emergency without giving them the Wi-Fi password. Just select the settings of that particular network, select QR code, then quick share, then share using your code. Now all the person has to do is scan this QR code from the Wi-Fi settings. Later you can even stop sharing the Wi-Fi anytime. The next is sound balance and I think this was a missing feature for all smartphones as you had to download third party apps for that. Jump into accessibility in the settings, then select hearing enhancements. You can adjust the balance of both the earphones as well as the default speakers. And you also get the option to switch to mono in case you do not want audio in stereo. Or even if you are using a single bud, 
and this is something that was really needed. The next and the most hyped feature is virtual RAM which finally came with One UI 4.1 and I was not expecting that on the S10 series but Samsung finally did it. You can access that by selecting device care then selecting the memory option then select RAM plus option where you get to choose from 2 to 8 GB of virtual RAM for better performance. I'm not sure if this is effective or just a gimmick but I can definitely say that the phone feels a lot smoother than it was after the One UI 4.0 update. No lags or stutters, just like how it came out of the box. Now guys, let me talk about something really important and that is the battery life. Let me be very honest, no major software update can increase the battery life of your smartphone. It sure can give you a smoother experience but at the cost of a little battery life irrespective of its battery capacity. And talking about the S10 Plus, I've actually been facing battery issues right after the One UI 3.0 update itself. But it's just that I'm not able to feel the pinch because I'm still working from home and it's easier for me to plug in anytime. Maybe when I start venturing out daily, that is a time this phone will really put my patience to the test. So these were some of my favorite upgrades of the One UI 4.1 on the S10 Plus. And as promised by Samsung, this is the final major update of the smartphone. And let me tell you that they've actually ended this well. You'll keep receiving security updates in future, but overall this feels like a well-deserved farewell for this amazing S10 series. And I also mentioned in the start of the video that Samsung is the king of Android. And the reason why I think so is because Samsung really changed the game after the launch of One UI, which replaced the much-hated TouchWiz UI and Experience UI. Since then, Samsung has just been improvising year after year, not only trying to give users a smooth experience, but also trying to adapt to your lifestyle, not only with their smartphones, but also with their wearable devices. They do invest a lot in research and development, and their collaboration with Google makes it even better. The Galaxy Watch 4 is one such example, and in terms of software and user experience, I think for Samsung, this is just the beginning. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you found it interesting or informative, then do hit that like button. Also, you must have noticed that this is my new setup. With time, I will definitely be making some changes and I'll improvise it surely. Do take care of yourself and till then, see you next time.